Hello, Sandy Creek Nature Center. My name is Kelly Clownville, and I'm here in beautiful Southwest Virginia with my daughter, Sydney, who's behind the camera. And we're gonna take you with us today as we go out looking for snakes. And if we don't find any, we'll put together some clips of ones we found recently and act like it happened today. Here's the Eastern Worm Snake. Found him under a board that I'd actually placed in a power line cut to be able to find snakes like this, which is what People who like to find snakes will do, they'll, they'll place boards and things like that in places where it would be more likely to find them. These guys are called eastern worm snakes because, first of all, they're obvious resemblance to worms, but it's also one of their main prey items, or worms, slugs, other small invertebrates. Um, this guy is, is a young one, and he was under this board with probably one of his siblings, another another worm snake about the same size. But he got into a hole before we could pick him up. And they're called a fossorial species uh, because they spend most of their life underground and, uh, like I said, in search of uh, worms and things like that. This, this is a young one. They do get larger than this, um, probably about three times the size. So this is a baby. They have a really Cute little pink belly that even looks more worm-like. Let's see if we can get a shot of his belly here. See his belly. But uh, Eastern Worm Snake. So we'll go ahead and put him back under his board. Here we are finding an Eastern Milk Snake who was in the process of shedding his skin. They get their name from an old folk tale that they milked cows. No idea why. These guys are prey to animals like raccoons and owls and prey on animals like the little worm snake we found earlier. These brown guys are sometimes called chocolate milks, but we'll include some pictures of some subadults that are bright red. Here's an eastern rat snake. These guys are our longest snake with the longest in Virginia being six and a half feet long and the longest in the U.S. being eight and a half feet. This guy was about four feet long. This is not a dead snake, but an eastern hognose snake employing one of his defense mechanisms, plain dead. When threatened, they spread their neck to look like a cobra, make loud puffing noises, spray musk, make fake strikes, and if that fails, play dead. This little juvenile went straight to plain dead. There are 32 species of snake in Virginia, and three are venomous including the northern cottonmouth, eastern copperhead, and timber rattlesnake. Here are a few of the species that we've had the privilege to encounter. Snakes are some of the most misunderstood, feared, and persecuted of all animals. You'd be surprised how many people tell me they kill all snakes they see, even people who you'd think would understand conservation. Snakes play an important role in the ecosystem. Many snake species prey on rodents, which help control the spread of disease. They also serve as prey for other animals. Many people have an irrational fear of snakes, but snakes are much more afraid of people and do what they can to avoid us. If you see a snake, admire it for what it is and let it go on its way. If you want to learn about all of Virginia's amphibians and reptiles, visit the Virginia Herpetological Society's website. If you want to follow our herping adventures, you can follow us on Instagram. Thank you, and I hope to see you on our next adventure.